Good morning, DJ Talk family. How you all doing today? First of all, welcome to the 52nd episode of DJ Talk. I know it's been a while, but but it's great to be here again. So, before we get started, I would like to send a shout out to everyone that is that is doing well and hopefully you guys enjoyed Labor Day this past week. So, and not only did you enjoy yourself, but also had fun, enjoyed it with your family and all that. And like I said before, September is our month. We're going to win together. Let's get September. Let's get the W this month. Let's go. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications. And many more to come. Many more videos to come. Many more podcasts to come. Many more to come. So excited. New stuff coming up. And all I can say is just stay tuned for it. Stay tuned for more. So if you, ha- if you guys haven't heard the last episode, it was a calm moment. When it comes to quieting the storm and rising to the occasion, that's what this ep- that's what that episode was about. You know, trying to talk about how to quiet the storm and how to um, overcome a lot of things that wants to really um, damage you. You know what I mean? Like wants to ruin everything that you've worked so hard for, ruin everything that you're doing. Sometimes you want to just take a step back and say, you know what? This storm is not going to kill it. This this storm is not going to kill me. It's going to make me more stronger. So, like I would say, make sure you guys go check that out. So, without any further ado, I've said it a lot of times. Let's get right to it. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about how to shut down all the distractions so when everyone's question so everyone in mind have a question about what does it mean to shut down all distractions well that is a great question and you know what we're gonna look at it together it means that whenever you set your mind onto something you want to be totally focused and totally locked in on your work and, and just like the old saying goes, keep your eye on the prize. And that's what we got to do. Keep our eyes on the prize. There are multiple steps on how to shut down all distractions. And we are going to start off with numero uno. Turn off all distractions. You know... Every day, we all want to stay focused on the goals, focused on making an impact, and most importantly, focused on everything that is in our surroundings. So we want to have the focus. We want to keep ourselves focused every day. And my suggestion is, when it comes to the word focus, is we need to keep ourselves focused and once we keep ourselves focused, we will make great we will make many things happen to us, like good things happen to us, and have the advantage on every situation that is planted towards planted towards something that we want to have in our lives. Like take for instance, we want to reach higher levels that we've never reached before. So that's the kind of focus that we want. You know, they say that the future is bright, but it's so bright out there. And that's what we want to believe, that the future is so bright, but it's so bright out there. And we want to enjoy everything that we have in the future. So, let's stay focused on the future. Number two, get it together. When you feel like you're feeling discouraged and also very much distracted, 
you feel like you just want to give up and throw in the towel and say, well, that's a wrap for me. I can't do this anymore. Well, I do have some great news for you guys. At any situation that you guys are going through, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So if I was you, listen to this, and this is for the people in the back. If I was you, I get it together and I forget about the bad times and keep pushing to the limits and reach the higher levels that I want to reach. That's what I would do if I was you. And that goes to you guys too. So remember this always. Never lose focus. Never lose faith as well. All I have to say is get it together and make an impact. There's good words that says guard your heart above all else for it determines the course of your life. Key words, guard your heart. So that's what we all must do at all times. And most importantly, never let your guard down. Number three, dominate. What do we have, what do we do when it comes to dominating? Well, we need to learn how to dominate. By st- and start by doing this. Number one, lead. Make others follow your lead. People follow you is the definition of social power. Anytime people follow your lead, you are by definition acting as the leader and as the most Individ- powerful individual such as well it could be politicians schooled and instructed by community communication experts play this game quite often they shake hands place a hand on people's backs and then open their bodies up and point to something in the environment what they tr- uh, they're trying to do is to have people follow their dominant Lead the lead. Dominant men can be can also be polite. And they politely invite others to be their guests. To follow them. To sit down. To enjoy the food. To go through the door first. It looks polite, but it's also leader-like. And it puts them in charge. Number two. Exert social pressure. You know, dominant men can create social tension at will. They create social tension to make them more submissive individual who complies, crack, speak, or act. But sometimes, they create that tension without an actual reason. For, just for fun of welding power and seeing you squeak. And to show who's in charge. Number three, connect with everyone. In order to rule the world, you're going to have to be known and loved by all. I don't care that you're destined to be a future world leader. No one has ever done anything truly great without help. So don't be afraid to reach out and talk to anyone. People are so afraid of rejection that they often never reach out at all and that leaves them stuck right where they are where they are. So if you're going to make this happen, get comfortable with reaching out, pushing past your comfort zone and talking to people you may have been scared to approach before. Remember if someone refuses to talk to you, that's often more about them than it is about you. Number four. Learn from the best. If there's anyone has, who has done whatever you want to do, whether it involves taking over the world or not, 
You don't have to start from scratch. Like the good motivational speaker and life coach Tony Robbins will say, if you want to be successful, find someone who has achieved the results and you want to you want and copy what they do and you'll achieve the same results. Very interesting said and well said by Tony Robbins. Good guy though. Make sure you guys check him out. Step number four, be control of your own destiny. So, how do we control our destiny? Well, it comes to positive, it comes with positive thinking and less worrying about what will happen in the future. So, focus on on one task at a time. So the key steps on how to be in control of your destiny, well, we're gonna look at it together. Number one, accept reality. To control your destiny, you must accept who you are and what you, where you are right now. If you fool yourself into thinking that you're further along in your goals than you really are, You'll leave yourself with nothing to accomplish. At the same time, don't convince yourself that your life is worse than it really is. So, take a step back and look at your circumstances from a new perspective. Number two, let go of your past or let go of the past. Same thing. Your past is not the f- your future unless... You live there. To control your own destiny, you must forgive those who have hurt you and let go of the past. That is a true, that's true right there to the bone. That's true to the fullest. Let go of the past and forgive those who hurt you. Number three. Last. Here. Face your fears. Ooh, very good one right there, should I say. Face your fears. Fear is a natural survival instinct. But like our relationship, it doesn't always serve us. If you're living in fear, you can never truly learn how to control your destiny. To become your best self and realize your Unlimited potential for growth. You must learn how to use fear instead of letting fear use you. Be vulnerable with your partner. Take step take steps that take steps to start that business you dreamed about. And last but not least, number five, think before you act. Always think before you act. When life wants to put obstacles and adversity in your way, sometimes you have to figure out how do you want to overcome. And the question is, very interesting, very good question. How do we do it? How do we do it? Well, everything around us when it comes to the word um, shutting down distractions. That's what we want to do. And the question is, back to the question, how do we do it? How do we shut down all the distractions that is trying to damage our goals? Or how do we become the top people in any place and other in any other kind of business we represent? Well, I got good news for you, my people. The answer is teamwork. When it comes to shutting down all distractions and being an example, there's one thing that it would start with, and you know what? It starts with you. It starts with you first as the leader, and to lead by example, then putting your team on your back. Every good leader would do that. That will put their team on their back. 
Every people that believe in you, that look up to you, you want to put them on your back and letting them know that you will do whatever you have to do to see that your team gets the W, gets the win, goes all the way. And just like the song goes, someday we'll go all the way. We will go all the way. And that's what we always that's what we all want to do. We want to go all the way. From start from the starting point to the finish line. And that is what we want to make happen. So you see, we want to avoid distractions. And sometimes we ask ourselves, is it worth it that we think about having a victory and becoming a leader of your team? And the answer is yes, it is worth it. It is worth it. And you know why? Because it is your goal and aspiration to be on the winning team. And that's what you, that's what you belong. You belong on the winning team. Not just me, not just one person, but all of you guys of DJ Talk family belong on the winning team. So that's my thing right there. So before I wrap this episode up, I want to give you guys a piece of encouragement and let you guys know something. Not just one person, but all of you. Always remember this. Whenever distraction comes your way, always try to stay focused on your goals, your destination, and the big picture as well. The key word right here, keep yourself focused. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in and, and thank you guys for the love and support. And that really touched my heart to know that that DJ Talk family gets bigger and better every day. And I'm just thankful and blessed about it. So, with that being said, stay tuned for the next episode of DJ Talk. Stay positive and stay focused and have an awesome day. Peace out and enjoy, everybody. Ah!